Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in yet again and thanks for subscribing. If you're new here, my name is Buhle Mayatula and it is a pleasure. Ooh, English. Pleasure to have you here. That time I'm sober, but like, I felt like, you know what? I don't know, you know when you're chilling and then you have this random thought like of like, random stuff. Today we're having our first story time and I'm gonna tell you about getting dribbled just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. But I want to start off by saying that baby cakes, if this man has been in a long-term relationship just before you, like long-term, like I can move my one, two years, but I mean those should count, I guess. But like they've been in a long-term relationship and then they come to you afterwards you definitely the rebound and you must just know that you're there for a good time and not a long time because honey <laughs> honey you will see flames if you think more than what you what it is and i think for me it's not that it's not that i didn't know these things you guys like that's the embarrassing part it's like you know, you know, like, you know these things, but you somehow still end up in these situations. It, <laughs> but this one specific one I was thinking about today, I'm like, I remember actually we were like each other's rebounds. I was falling hard for this dude. Like, everyone else, it wasn't hard, you know what I mean? It was like, oh, nah, whatever. But like, he was so, I mean, typically what you'll hear about the guys that I've been with, like, most of them let me not say all most of them are really kind people and i'm really like into people like that he's very kind shows up that's for me a big thing like show up show up with my out me having to ask you to show up do you know what i mean like he showed up like he was that guy before we even started that like, the situation show and then there's a day where um a mutual asks me hey do you know about x and i'm like yeah, as far as I know, it's over. And <laughs> and then my best friend is like, hey, have you seen Svan Ban's profile picture? And I go to his name, you guys. I go to his name and you want a zero picture. So he deleted my number. <laughs> yeah. Huh. This nigga. Yo, I was just like, wild wild i guess he had the decency because my other ex didn't delete my number and he posted statuses with his girlfriend and i was just like but that's a story for another day because like that's that there's a lot with that one but i was like Anyway, so after after I saw that, I just cut like communication with him. Tell you, let me tell you, don't trust these niggas. Don't do it. Love yourself, baby girl. Please listen to me, guys. Again, it's one of those cases where I'm like, listen to me, okay? A okay. girl, listen to me, <sighs> guys. Uh, I don't care how great he is. I don't. I'm just saying. Okay, obviously I'm projecting. But I'm just saying, be wary. You know what I mean? Be wary. This man took me to the flipping roof to look at the stars only for him to go back to his ex. I mean, at the time, I thought that was really cute. Now, if you try to sh show me the stars, I literally might disappear. Don't do that. Don't do that thing. Don't. Now stars are triggering. Imagine. He made you climb onto the roof. Only for him to go back to his ex. Also, maybe then that's what he does to every rebound or every other person. What I don't enjoy about these gens is that they come back like nothing happened. Like, nothing happened. They'll be like, months later, hey, I haven't spoken to you in a while. Of course you haven't. We weren't in a relationship, so I was like, I'm not going to confront you on this. You know exactly what you're doing. And yeah so i just also deleted his number like i was just like it's over you know what i mean you must move very quickly guys you mustn't no 
don't think about it don't think twice don't reconsider just be like all right this is it is what it is i am taking my l and moving on the other one like <laughs> This guy and I were like childhood boyfriend and girlfriend. Like we were like cuties, cutie patooties in primary school. But it didn't last. I don't think it lasted. Mm -mm. I don't think it lasted more than two, three months. He's always been like a really sweet guy, you guys. You know, like I really thought he was a sweet guy. So when he came, he popped up no out of nowhere. Like I didn't search for him he came to me yeah but here's the thing because you know all your primary school mates or your high school mates most of you guys have each other on social media so i've been keeping up with every, like i keep tabs like <laughs> you think i'm not seeing your life i see it i'm watching okay so i love that this guy has been you know in this one relationship for a while but i didn't love i didn't like find out when it ended or whatever i don't really know because also guys ask these questions when did your relationship end why are you here but even him he was showing up man he was doing the most it was <sighs> so mandy and then i actually don't know if he ghosted me or i ghosted him but he probably ghosted me because i think i would remember if i'm the one who ghosted someone and then he just disappeared next thing i'm seeing he's posting with his ex <laughs> guys guys trust no man those are the two stories i ah, there's another one there's another one he got married <laughs> you know what guys personally like this wasn't even like a planned story time that's why we're sitting here if he's recently come out of a long-term relationship mice if you want something serious i think 2017 me didn't really want anything serious but like it was just still top tier clownery in my opinion because even if we aren't serious like the decency to be like yo um i'm back with my ex now instead of me seeing pictures no men must leave me alone guys can like they leave me alone i've made peace with the fact that i am probably going to be the rich aunt you guys will see how i get rich but point is i'm going to be the rich aunt i've already planned out my house on pinterest like i've had it for years actually it probably started in 2017 i don't know how long i've had that like ideal house i even have a toy room for my friends kids like literally i'm like N -n and <laughs> yo yo amen we've lived A recent one don't trust men just don't don't do that thing it's silly it's so silly thank you for listening to my rant this wasn't a story time this was literally a rant i mean we know but i just thought i should let you know again girlies don't trust those niggas but you guys be decent i mean also expecting decency from men that's why i'm just saying clima 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 like let it go i think everyone has found their partners and then there's just okay. guys please don't send like hopeful messages guys have you seen have you watched have you watched that um interview yeah who's that um because girl wendy and um tamar braxton and tamar's earring keeps falling off yo i think i cried while, while watching that because she kept picking it up from like the floor okay these earrings is yeah is yeah la. like it's over for them but uh, yeah sorry that's random anyway i hope you guys are having a good week i hope i do post this like tonight or tomorrow because it's just like a lol situation it's just a lol what a young rant
that brings us to the end of this young rant anyway i braided my own hair if you don't follow me on social media please do check out my igtv i will leave the link in the description box just to see or have an idea of how i achieved this also i have tagged um the youtube videos that i did watch to help me to help me please don't forget to subscribe like and comment let's let's rant like let's vent together let's go up uh, but if you don't want to go out, uh, then shh. I give out your hope today. I just want to vent. Okay. <laughs>